Tell me about it, though. Slice, man. Like a neck and mole I'm just gonna be a little boozy. Who is Julia's favorite? It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Right. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm franchise. I'm top tier, I'm next. Good morning Buff Babes and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julia Renee and I'm taking everybody on my Road to Pro series. We are like two weeks out from my show when you guys are seeing this. So today I thought I would bring you along while I do a little bit of grocery shopping for prep and meal prep so I can show you guys what I do, how I prepare for the week and we're gonna do another in-depth physique update because my body is changing literally by the day. So without further ado, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video because I know you don't want to and let's get into it also I'm buying some of my groceries at Whole Foods because I'm bougie <laughs> That is all I got because I went shopping yesterday and I forgot to get sweet potatoes. I actually got the Japanese sweet potatoes because one of you lovely people recommended to them, recommended them to me. So yeah. Ah! All right, guys. Now that we're home, I'm gonna show you what the grocery haul looks like in total. It's really not much stuff. I kind of stick to the same thing every week because when you're on prep for a bodybuilding show, your stomach gets really sensitive to any foods that are different. So I stick to the foods that I know work well with my stomach and that keep my digestion going. So I'm gonna show you them and then we'll get cooking. So these are the things that I get that are definitely staples. So for my veggie, I like to get the butternut squash in the spirals. I also get a couple that are cubed and I also get snap peas so that these I can put in the air fryer and then these I can have as like a crunchy snack or put them in that air fryer just to have something different. And right here we have chicken breast, it's 99% fat free. And then I have egg whites and we have the Japanese sweet potatoes. And then I have 99% lean fat free. Turkey, I have two of these, and then a sugar-free root beer. It comes in like a pack of six. And then lastly, we have some white fish. So usually I get the fish, it's called swai, which is like the sister of tilapia, but they didn't have it, so I had to get tilapia. I know it's not that good of a fish, but right now during prep, very low calories. So to make sure that we are time efficient, I have it preheated to 400 degrees before we wash them and season them. chicken washed I am going to season it in this pan so I have the Mexican fiesta seasoning by feast mode and what I'm going to do is put a layer of it down at the bottom so that when I stick the chicken on top it does it for me and then after we're done seasoning the pieces we'll put them on this tray with the foil that I have a little bit of the non-stick spray on sure that there's a thick side opposite ends so that I can fit them all perfectly and now we're gonna put it in the oven okay so we're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about I'm gonna do 20 minutes right now and then I'm gonna take it out and check it to make sure that it doesn't get too dry
Next, we are gonna start making our lean ground turkey, and we're gonna do this on the stove top while the chicken is going. So I'm gonna put all of it in one big bowl. I can't open it. So I'm gonna put both of these in one bowl and we are going to season it and break it up into small pieces. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna put the garden veggie seasoning on it and we're going to break it up into smaller pieces. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of seasoning on it now and then break it up and do more. bit of the non-stick zero calorie spray and start cooking. done and we have the chicken still going <coughs> shoot anytime I drink anything carbonated I burp like crazy so we're gonna get the sweet potatoes started I got the Japanese sweet potatoes I'm really excited <coughs> to try them so first we're gonna wash them peel them and get them cut and I think I'm gonna make them in the air fryer because I have never done that before so I'm excited <laughs> Chicken, 20 minutes is up, so we're gonna check it. Oh! Woo! So what you're gonna wanna do here is check the thickest part of it. Thickest part usually on top. So I'm gonna start with this big guy, and I'm gonna cut into it. See, there's still a little bit of pink in it. Hopefully, y'all can see that. See, right there in the middle, how it's still kind of raw. So what I do during this time is I check everything else. See, everything else is good. Yup. This one is good. So what I'm going to do is cut off this thinner piece of this thicker one, because this one's done. And I'm just going to put this back in there for about five more minutes just to get that pink out of there. All right, now that our sweet potato is all cut, I am going to season them in this pan before we put it in the air fryer. So I'm gonna put a little bit of non-stick down just to coat them a little bit so they have some stick. Woo! And then we're going to put some honey butter feast mode seasoning on it. Now that we got the sweet potatoes ready, I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. Okay. So I'm not gonna put all of it because there's not enough space. So we're gonna put it in. It's at 400 degrees. We're gonna air fry it for about 20 minutes and then check on it. Now that that's going, we're gonna work on our fish. So I'm going to be placing the tilapia down. I'm gonna use my favorite fish seasoning, which is the Tony's Original. Now into the oven. Here, I'm 
gonna do it for about 12 minutes. chicken we have the sweet potatoes we have the tilapia all of it is ready to go in bulk and all I have to do is just scoop it out and measure it and eat it so another thing that I like to do that makes it even easier is I add measuring cups in with my meats because these are a little bit more difficult to measure out so that when I need to just scoop it out and measure it it's a lot easier <laughs> prep in bulk so now I have everything that I need for the week so if you're going to start meal prepping or you do already pick a day that you're going to do it you know like whether it's a Saturday or a Sunday and just dedicate a specific amount of time to just get everything ready I'm telling you you are going to save so much money doing that and so much time because throughout the week you won't be going out you know, getting Chick-fil-A, getting Chipotle, getting all these things, and it adds up, guys. And if you just dedicate yourself to a small amount of time, you're gonna save money and you'll be prepared for the week and stay on track. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. We're gonna do some cardio and a physique update. The following day.
one winner later. All right, guys, few hours have passed and we are on our way to do another body fat scan. I know it feels like I just did one, but I'm going to be doing them every week here until prep so that we can really see what is changing because a lot is going to be changing really quickly. So I will see you when we get there. My seat is still wet from my cardio sweat this morning. <laughs> All right, guys, the results are in. Very excited about these. So First, at the top of the screen, you will see last week's results, which was 6, 7, 20, 21. And my weight was sitting at 150 pounds, 20.8% body fat. My muscle mass was 67.9. Visceral fat level was four, and I'm gonna add this on there as well. My waist was 27 inches. This week, which is 6, 14, 21, I'm sitting at 146.4 pounds, so we dropped a significant amount of weight. Uh, body fat is at 19.5%, so we dropped over a percent of body fat. Muscle mass is 66.6, .6. it went down, which is expected because I am eating minimal calories and I'm burning a lot of calories and energy as well, so it's expected. Visceral fat level is still four and my waist is 26 and a half inches. So overall, very excited about that. We dropped a really good amount of weight in one week and we also went down a percent of body fat. So everything is going just as planned. I'm super, super happy about this and I just can't wait for the weeks to come. So next we are just going to go to HEB because like all bodybuilders, you find yourself at the grocery store like three times a week because you just run out of stuff so fast because you're always eating and drinking stuff. So we're gonna go there, pick up a few things that I need. see what we got all right so we got some snack size ziploc bags because i am going to be traveling this week and i'm gonna need to pack my food all my food for prep i got the tony seasoning i got the light one because i like to use a lot of seasoning so i figured it's better to do the light one i got two more packets of butternut squash cubes I have been getting the spirals and I love the spirals so much more, but they get gross like within a day and it's annoying. So I'm just gonna get the cubes. I got a six pack of Sprite Zero Sugar. Right here, these little baby ones, they're so cute. I wanted to get the Zero Sugar Root Beer, but some places don't have it. I got three Mio's. Y'all know this is my favorite one. It makes your drinks taste like Gatorade. Needed to bring some extra. And I got a mini sugar-free syrup because I'm gonna bring this for my travel. I'm going to bring one of these while I travel. So I needed to get some stuff. And I know you've seen me go shopping already twice this week, but this is the reality. You know, you need food all the time and it's just, it's just life, man. All right, guys, it is a few hours later and we are going to get our lashes done because I'm naked and I look like a naked mole rat without them. <laughs> I've just gotten so attached to them. So we're going to go get those done and then we're going to go hit a workout. I know I'm not supposed to work out after I get my lashes done, okay? It's just that I can't not work out. I have to. So let's do it. <laughs>
All right, lashes done. Feeling the most beautiful. And now we're getting our pre-workout in. I had it pre-packed in my bag. Because I'm a responsible adult. And we are gonna hit the gym. I'm gonna go to a different gym today because I don't want to mess up my lashes and I need a cardio machine that has a fan. So I'm just gonna be a little bougie. I'm gonna go to the cardio machines with the fans. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she lit me to eating. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breast strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like it's been that. When the fuck me looking at the bill stack. Off the bubbly, buddy, I've been stressed out. Let the smoke scream from my chest out. Niggas laced up, I really hate love from a stranger. Shit is fake stuff, only need it for Yo, yeah, crash land in the palm of my hand Bad little flex, wanna play by the coast Carry the torch, I'm way up, it's litty wherever we flow I came from the cold, used to rest on the floor I stitch up my wounds, was born a soldier Flipping the struggle, I'm taking it worldwide Hold it down when you talk to me Say it is what it's supposed to be Say it loud, but I mean it to ya Talk that good when you talk to me Say it nice and I give it to you Know my word is fun, yeah. What we on now is wild, shit a trip. Yeah. Life is slid, take a breath. That's yeah. it. Now it's it's wild, it's shit a trip. Life is litty, it's shit a gift, bitch. I'm him. I don't really lack nothing. Trip black fish, hit the splash button. Niggas landlocked, too bad for him. And they liable to talk, but it's mad rubbish. It don't mean nothing. From the sword, trying to make it to the top floor of the penthouse, pin games, something mad guts, gross. No sleeping, been a task rabbit, been a lab at it. The chief of the tribe I put on for my village. Used to be local, I'm taking it go. Sharp with the focus, she catching the motion. Treat that holistic, I give it a physics. Fuck your opinion, just did a show, only spit raw material. I'm independent, bitch, I'm in the building. Look what we build it, it feel like no ceiling, we taking it worldwide. Hold it down when you talk to me. Say it is what it's supposed to be. Say it loud, but I mean it to ya. Talk that good when you talk to me. Say it nice and I give it to you. You know my word is burn, yeah. What we on now is wild shit a trip. Life is real, take a We are. Get out of my way. Done with cardio, another successful session complete. I am about an hour and a half past when I was supposed to eat my meal because I had to do my lashes, then I had to come and work out, and then I had to do cardio. It's just a lot of things, so I'm like shaking because I'm so hungry. And it was so funny because I was doing my cardio, and I'm like halfway through. It's pretty easy. I'm doing it, and I like... <laughs> And I smell my next meal. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I smell what it smells like when I make it. And I was like, what the hell? Like, you know you're in prep when you start smelling your meal in the middle of a sweaty gym. I am walking to my mommy and daddy's house right now. Yes, we live in the same apartment complex. <laughs> and it's actually pretty cool because they live so close. And we are going to do a parent Q&A. So my parents are going to expose me. And there she is in all her glory. Thanks. The woman who birthed me. I am here with my mother and my father. And my mom is making us wait because she needs to put lipstick on. Where do you think I get it from, guys? Okay, I have my mommy and my daddy here. Look how buff I look in this. Sorry. Okay, y'all have met my mother, Rochelle. Rochelle. Rachel, and this is my daddy, Mark. They gave birth to me. So, we're gonna do some questions from Instagram, and whoever would like to answer first can answer. Yeah, no. But let's do, oh, this looks good. Let's start with this good one. Who is Julia's, don't cheat, mama. You can't cheat. Who is Julia's favorite, mom or dad? What? Who is Julia's, Who's Julia's favorite? So y'all have to answer who you think my favorite is. 
It better be me. I don't think so. <laughs> Julia and I have had a special bond from the get-go, and it's unbreakable. Aww. So I don't have a favorite. Yeah, that's a good question. Good answer. I don't have a favorite, but my dad and I do have something. He's like me. Do have something special because he is where I got my athletic ability. No offense. You're a little not athletic mm -hmm. but she is where i got my organi organization skills and my creativity so youtuber bodybuilder i got it from both yes next question mm -hmm. what is something that frustrates you about your daughter being a bodybuilder next question mm -hmm. what is something that frustrates you about your daughter being a bodybuilder that she can never eat any of my food. I can't eat any of her yes, food. Yes, it makes me sad when she can't eat. Yes, but when she has to eat the same thing over and over and over, it makes me sad. What is the most annoying habit she has? Nail biting. <laughs> what would you say? That's funny, Chloe said the same Nail thing. Nail biting. Nail biting. Um, what do you think? Impatience. Impatience. <laughs> Chloe yes. said that too. Yes. <laughs> Impatient. Slightly pushy at times. Yeah, where'd she get that from? Yeah, all of these, those things are from my dad. Both of you now, this one. Describe Julia in three words. You first. Only three words. Three words. Uh, very determined. 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 Um, she sets her mind. She does it. She goes for it. Um, very organized and bossy. <laughs> bossy, determined, and organized. Organized. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Daddy. What would you say? Gifted. <laughs> Is that why? Genetically you? gifted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Focused. Yes. And uh, but still has a big heart. What were your first thoughts when she began bodybuilding, Mama? Crazy. I thought she was crazy. Um, only because I knew what it. Well, I was. I thought she was crazy because she was going to quit doing hair, and I loved that she did hair because I'm a hairdresser, and I thought it was so neat that we had that in common and we had a lot to talk about. So when she gave that up for just bodybuilding, it kind of broke my heart. <laughs> it did. It's not just bodybuilding. Uh, yeah. Daddy. Never thought I would have someone follow closely to what I did athletically as Julia, but then take it further than I did. And it's a blessing and a gift and it, it is a testament to when you have a lot of gifts, you got to be careful not to lose focus. You got to pick one and go after it. And that's what she's doing. This is an extension of all the stuff athletically she's done. And it's just good to see that the gifts are being used wisely. What was your favorite memory of her? And we'll end on that one, mommy. Favorite memory of when you were little? I guess in total. Oh gosh. Uh, you want to think, huh? You, yeah, you go. You ahead. got it. If you got one, yeah, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Julie and I were in the garage when she was about maybe eighteen months, close to two years old, and I was working on a six foot ladder, and I walked out of the garage to get something, and by the time I came back. Julia climbed all the way up to the top of the ladder when his, and was sitting on top of the ladder. <laughs> the place you're not even supposed to step. So I saw her and I immediately relaxed and just said, Julia, how you doing? Because I was afraid she was going to just fall over. And I just said, okay, honey, we got to get down now. And she just slowly started going down and I helped her. And at that point, I knew there was some guts way down deep. <laughs> 
that we were only seeing the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't know I went all the way to the top. I think I can't think of one specific one, but I know, like with her, like her wrestling. I used to love to go watch her wrestle, cause I loved that she would go in there and wrestle, and do her thing. She'd run to the bathroom, touch up her makeup, and then she'd come out looking really good. Because at first I thought this isn't very, not very ladylike sport, but I loved that she, she kept would, her femininity. She kept. Yeah. Her, yeah, she would come out with makeup, looking good after she beat somebody up. <laughs> she's the cheer. She's the cheerleader that you wouldn't want to mess with. Yeah, yeah. Even though I do a lot of you know, male dominant sports yes, that are, you've kept your. Yeah, uh, I keep my femininity by all the things that I do. You guys know that I do my lashes, I tan, I do my makeup, and that's stuff that just also makes me happy. And that, you know, came from her because she's exactly like this. She needed to put lipstick on before we did this video. And I'm the same way. But, yeah. These are my parents, guys. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little Q&A with my mom and dad. They truly are incredible. They've been so supportive of me. And that's all you can ever ask for when you're doing something that is this unique and this challenging. And on Thursday's video, we are actually going out of town. So things are starting to pick up really, really quickly. We are going to be traveling a lot. So there's gonna be a lot of good content on here for you guys. And I'm so excited for it. So just remember, I love you all so much and you are more powerful than you think.